G'day, welcome to Mount Cranber Apiculture. The purpose of today's um, video is to just do a bit of a, a spring inspection and a bit of spring hive management on this beehive. It's mid-August here. Uh, conditions are pretty tough here at the moment and I'd say the hives are a, a couple of weeks behind what they normally are. What we want to do is um, just go through this hive. First thing we want to do is check it for disease. It's pointless doing anything if, if the hive has got some sort of disease and uh, we don't want anything to spread to any other hives in our apiary as well. So we'll do a good thorough disease inspection. We want to manipulate a bit of brood. So it's important now that um, we get ahead of the bees and, and, and ahead of that swarming urge. So what we're going to do is pull a bit of old comb out of the brood box and replace it with some nice fresh foundation and some new frames so that they can um, give the queen a bit of space to lay and uh, just renews the brood comb in the brood box. We're going to look at how the queen's laying and make sure she's um, still a nice viable queen. She's only a year old, so I'm expecting that she'll be okay. But we'll look at the laying pattern and make a bit of an assessment and um, determine if we're going to keep her or not. Lastly, we're just going to look at the stores in the hive. We're going to make sure they've got plenty of honey and plenty of pollen to um, keep them going through the spring in this, this time of expansion. So with that, we'll open it up and we'll have a look and see what we can find. Always wear your veil when you're checking bees. Much safer, much less painless. Bit of smoke. As you can see, this is the flow hive. Um, without the flow box on, it's just a normal beehive. But the, um, the flow frames are in the shed because they are empty. Just makes leaves too much space on the hive. We want them nice and compact this time of year so that the beetles don't become a problem. So that's the top super moved, just to um, so we can get access to the brood box. Remove that queen excluder, just check for the queen, make sure she's not on there, shake those bees off. So the first thing to do is just go through these frames and um, have a bit of a look and see what we've got and hopefully find the queen. Once we, do, once we find her, we can do a good disease inspection. That comb's empty, so I'm not expecting to find her there. This um, flow box has got a vented bottom board. You can see they've been making propolis there to try and um, just block the draft from the vented bottom board. We'll probably replace this cone. So I'm just looking for that queen. More propolis there. They're just trying to um, insulate the hive a bit better. So there's our queen, you can see her just there, she's got a yellow dot on her. So what I like to do is grab her in my little queen catcher, let her crawl up the side. So there she is in there, she's nice and safe and I can shake these bees off the frame without damaging her. So we'll go back and um, grab these frames with brood on them. They're a bit stroppy, these bees. Uh, just use your smoke to push them back down on the frames if they start flying up and hitting your veil. There's a bit of brood on here. Key to doing a good brood inspection is to shake all the bees off the frame so you can get a good look at the brood. That's all you need to do. 
there's a few that hang on. So I'll be looking at probably replacing this comb because of the damage. Um, what I'm looking for is anything abnormal. So I'm looking at this brood. Um, I'm seeing a fairly good brood pattern. We've got pollen here, sealed brood, unsealed brood, and some eggs in there as well. So we've got nice convex cappings. Um, these frames are getting a bit old and they need to be replaced, but yeah, nice convex cappings, uh, white, white brood, uh, white larvae, and um, that looks okay to me. Nothing sunken or, um, or perforated that I can see. So it's really important you shake all the bees off the frames. We'll keep going through. That's a frame of drone brood. So we might think about taking that up into the, into the top super as well and replacing that. You can see I'm putting honey in there. Uh, there's a bit of pollen, a little bit of seal brood there, but it's mainly drone comb. It's because it's um, a naturally drawn comb rather than foundation. They draw a lot of drone brood. So we'll, look at, we'll leave that out because we might pull it up. So once again, uh, just looking at these cappings to make sure they're normal. There's a bit of, bit of nectar coming in. You can see it shaking off onto the frame. A lot of drone brood there, which they're not really laying up at the moment because of the poor conditions. But generally that, that pattern is quite good. So she's not a bad queen. A couple of drone cells there, cap drone cells. Push those bees down. See, they're pulling a bit of bit of nectar in. It's shaking out of the cone. That's not a bad brood pattern. It looks a bit patchy, but she's got it well laid up. Can't see any abnormal cells there. Once again, that doesn't look too bad. Um, it's well laid up, and I can't see any abnormal cappings there. The sort of diseases we're looking for are, um, the, the biggest issue around here is American fowl brood, um, which you don't want to get in your hives because it's pretty much fatal, and it's uh, quite a nasty disease. Uh, I can leave, there'll be some information in the blog about American fowl brood and, and where you can get information about it. Um, the other ones to look for are European fowl brood, which is, Still a difficult disease to deal with, but it, um, it can be dealt with um, with treatments or um, just better genetics and feeding the bees. Good nutrition. Uh, chalk brood, which is fairly, fairly common around here. I can't see anything in this hive yet. Once again, shaking those bees off. See the nectar coming in. You can see it's coming out of the hive, out of the frames. So that there's no issues with nutrition here. Nice band of pollen around the outside. Uh, not the best brood in the world, but they're not the best frames either. So, um, despite it not looking great, it, it is healthy. The last frame. You can see on that frame it's full of pollen. So the pollen resources aren't too bad. See the other side of it there. We'll leave that in the um, in the brood chamber. I can see at least at least three different colours of pollen there, which means they're getting good nutrition. So they have picked themselves up in the last couple of weeks. So what we want to do is replace these frames, push them back gently without crushing any bees. We just want to introduce some new some new frames. So these are new frames with. Uh, new foundation in them. So they'll go to work on this. Uh, 
and that'll just give that queen more room to lay. It's not congested by any means at the moment, but we want to be ahead of that, so we won't, don't want them to a stage where they're going to swarm and um, lose that swarm. We want to be ahead of them. Go in there. Push that one up. Put two in the middle. Another frame of foundation. And that'll probably do. I'll just see what's here. That can stay. as well so they're not overly strong but we put two new frames into the into the brood box that'll give that queen plenty of space to lay uh, give the bees plenty to do and it'll remove any of that swarm to urge uh, urge to swarm this early in the season so that's the disease check done and the brood manipulation done we'll um we'll let this queen go because um i think i'll just watch it during the spring and see how she goes but She's okay. Uh, hopefully conditions will get better here shortly and they'll, they'll expand a bit more. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of pollen stores in there. There's a bit of nectar coming in, so um, they're going all right. They're certainly not starving or anything like that. We'll let this queen go. There she goes. So these little hair clip, hair clip queen catches are great things to have. You can pick a queen up and keep her safe and you know you're not gonna get a, gonna crush her. Bees start flying up off the combs like that. Um, just push a bit of, push them down with a bit of smoke. They're not terribly friendly today, but um, it's important that you recognize when when bees need a bit of smoke, it's too late if they're um, chasing you down the road. Find a clean splitter. That can go back on. Put our super back on. Now we've got a choice. Uh, what to do with these combs that we've left out so if there was any brood on them which I don't think there is we'll have another look so yeah there's no brood on that and that frames basically empty we'll cheat that out have a look at this one yeah once again there's no brood on that and that that frame is finished it's old and black, and the bees have chewed a part out of it because they clearly didn't like it. So we'll just get rid of that, cut it out and melt it down. So up in the top here, we've got honey, and that super's basically full of honey. It's starting to um, draw it out and eat it. Plenty of beetles in there. Provided you keep your hives nice and tight and strong, they'll, they'll deal with them. They're a terrible pain. If, um, if, we had, if we had pulled frames up with brood in them, a lot of drone brood, or, or, there was, or the, the whole super was, the whole brood box was full of um, brood, we would remove a couple of these honey frames and um, take them away and put them in the freezer um, and bring that brood up into this box so that you've um, once again freed up that brood chamber and um, given the queen plenty of room to lay. So that's it. That's what we tend to do for um, spring inspections. 
I always won my um, flow hive with um, a brew box and a super and then put the flow box on the top. Um, it's difficult to run them with um, just the brew box and the flow super because uh, unless you pull the, one of the flow frames out, you don't really have that option of um, moving frames up into the, into the top super. Same goes if you've got um, a, a full depth brood box and a, and a shallower um, honey super. You don't have that interchangeability of frames. So I always recommend you run your um, flow hives with a brood box, a honey super, and then your flow hive. We'll talk more about that um, later in the year on a different topic, how to do that. So they're fine. It's a nice strong hive. Uh, starting to pick up for spring. We put some extra frames in there to, to beat that swarming urge and stay ahead of them. And they should be okay. Nice and disease free. Uh, and hopefully they'll do well and make a bit of honey for us later on. So we'll put the lid on. There you go. Thanks for watching.